Hey, this is Andrew Brown from ExamPro, and we are looking at Azure Storage Accounts, which is used for containing all your Azure Storage data objects, such as blobs, files, queues, tables, and disks. So Storage Accounts is one of those services where it has a bunch of different storage types uh, within it. So it's a quite the multi-purpose uh, service. And with each different type of storage, it's gonna have different features and their own pricing models. So let's just quickly break down uh, the type of storage we have. So we have general purpose, uh, version one, uh, version two, blob storage, block blob storage, and file storage. And so I just want you to know that when you are using storage accounts, uh, I'm saying storage type, but for whatever reason, the UI calls it account kind. Uh, just to be aware of that small little discrepancy there. But storage accounts are going to vary based on features. And so the common features we'll see across storage will be um, supported services. So where can I put this storage account? And so on the right hand side, you can see uh, uh, like if you make a general purpose version two, what you have access to, such as containers, queues, tables, or file shares, those options are gonna change based on what you're using, all right? Uh, for performance tiers, this is how fast uh, you'll be able to do reads and writes. Uh, you have standard and premium. Uh, you have different kinds of access tiers. So how often do I need to quick access these files? And then there's replication. How many redundant copies should be made and where? And the last thing is deployment models. So who should deploy the supported service? Resource Manager Classic. And in generally, most cases, it's going to be Resource Manager.